Welcome to our comprehensive exploration of Samba concepts and architecture, a crucial domain for the LPIT3 Mixed Environments Exam 300. Today we delve into the essence of Samba in integrating Linux systems into heterogeneous network environments. Samba is a powerful open source software that allows Linux and Unix servers to operate seamlessly in Windows network environments. It not only facilitates file and print services but also plays a significant role in authentication and domain control. Understanding Samba's capabilities and architecture is pivotal for any IT professional working with mixed environments. Samba operates through various daemons, each serving a unique purpose. SMBD handles file sharing and printing services. NMBD manages NetBIOS name resolution, ensuring Windows clients can find the Samba server. And WinBind integrates Linux with Windows Active Directory, allowing for unified authentication. Together, these components form the backbone of Samba's functionality. In mixed OS networks, challenges such as file compatibility, authentication, and network services interoperability arise. Samba addresses these by providing a common ground for file sharing and network services, ensuring seamless integration and operation across different systems. Samba utilizes SMB SIFs for file and print services and integrates with Active Directory for authentication. Essential ports include 139 and 445 for SMB, ensuring these services communicate effectively across the network. Understanding these services and their ports is crucial for network security and configuration. SMB has evolved significantly from version 1.0, which laid the groundwork for file sharing over the network, to version 3.0, offering enhanced security and performance features. Each version introduces improvements critical for modern network environments such as encryption and better fault tolerance. Samba 4 introduced major advancements, including Active Directory Domain Controller functionality, a feature absent in Samba 3. This distinction is vital for network administrators, as it broadens the scope of Samba's applicability in complex network architectures. The Virtual File System VFS in Samba, allows for customization and extension of file-serving capabilities. Modules like VFs underscore Recycle can provide functionalities akin to the Windows Recycle Bin, showcasing Samba's flexibility and adaptability. For high availability and load balancing, Samba can be configured in a clustered environment using CTDB. This setup ensures continuous availability of network services, even in the face of server failures, highlighting the importance of Samba in maintaining resilient network operations. In conclusion, understanding the intricacies of Samba, from its daemons and protocol versions to its clustering capabilities, is essential for managing and integrating Linux systems in heterogeneous networks.